welcome to immature designer in this tutorial we will be learning a very interesting thing let me show you this is an illustration which I, made in, uh, which I made on figma itself and what i'm trying to do is that now i will change the expression of this of this uh, particular illustration just by changing the uh, but just by uh, from this drop down menu so first of all when i'm clicking on pause speak character you see the reference i'm clicking on this and the expression changed similarly when i'm clicking on speaking character and the expression changed and therefore i can just by one click instead of replacing the illustration if i wanted to use some different illustration on on or uh, in the place of some other i can just use this drop down menu instead of more removing this and bringing some different thing and placing it on the same location with the same you know height width etc etc so how i did it so basically what i did that initially i made three illustrations like this so figma didn't do the magic i did it itself it was my hard work where i made these three different types of illustrations in which i just changed the facial expressions and then i made component of them using which this magic happened now i'll teach you how i did this thing now first thing is knowing its use case so maybe you're not using it with the uh, using it uh, for illustrations but in case of buttons you can use it like for example you have a red button saying delete and then you have a green button saying okay or you have a blue button saying cancel and then you can just by one simple click you can change the type of the button right it really comes handy and saves a lot a lot a lot of time so i'll just teach you how i uh, was able to do it the first thing that you have to do i'll just teach you the different steps the first step that you need to do is that you first need to create the different variants i have created that was my first step okay without the variant you, you would not get a drop down that's obvious obviously so these are my variants that was the first step right now make sure that you are making the frame you know the variant is was initially a frame okay so i'll show you i'll just cut this paste it over here now that i have all these illustrations and how to make a frame you know just right click frame selection so it becomes a frame right frame selection frame selection done that was the first step First step is create the variants. Second step is make the frame out of those variants. Done. Now that you have all the different frames, now the third step is naming the frames. Okay, because if you don't have name, then how will you choose from the drop down? So this one becomes smiley. Done. Now I have three names. So make sure that you name the frames. So this was your third step. Now the fourth step is that select all of this, go to this diamond shape thing, go to the last option, create component, set, click on this and a purple boundary comes over here. Now this becomes a component set and these three are now components. You see, these have become purple. So these are components now, right? Now you want just what you have to do is that click on this one, alt and do it like this. So you basically get a copy of it. Now, this is not the main component the main components are the solid diamonds and the copy are this uh, outline diamonds and now you can simply use it now you can see that in this particular smiley face you get on this right panel you will get properties in the property you have been given the names which you wrote smiley posy speaky i click on speaky it becomes speaky you can smile again so this was how you can easily in four steps you can do it so the first step remember what the fourth step was first step is creating the variance second step is making the frame of the variance just do right click and frame the the third step is giving a name to the variant so that you can use it then uh, fourth step was selecting all of them going to the diamond shape over on the top and then selecting create component set and that's get created now you can use it by just making a copy of it and then choosing from the drop down menu so in this four simple steps you can actually use and do this interesting
interesting thing i hope you got to learn something please subscribe my channel and thank you for your support happy learning <laughs>